Hey guys, this is Dr. McFarland, and today we're going to look at setting up scenes on the Headrush pedal board. So, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe down below, and be sure to click on the bell icon so you'll be notified every time I release new content. So we have been going through this Headrush pedal board series, and today we're going to look at how to set up scenes within the head rush. And what a scene does exactly is we already have these switches down here that we can click on and off this, the different uh, effects. But what a scene is going to do is you're going to basically group a, any number of effects together and assign that to a foot switch. So it's very much like creating a preset whether you're using a Boss ES8 or a Gig Rig G2 or one of those Musicom Lab MIDI switchers or really anything that you can create presets with. So you're going to do the exact same thing here. So how to get there is we're going to click on the top right hand three little dots and go to hardware assign. And then if you notice here we can either have a toggle, we can have a hold, or we can have a scene. When it when you click on scene, it actually jumps to edit. So we're going to click on edit and we have all the effects blocks right here. And let's say I want amp number one. I want that on. And you see all these other ones that say no change. You can actually allow like a, like a delay effect or a reverb effect to have no change when you switch to a different scene. Uh, for like the IR, we don't need a change because it's always going to be on. Um, let's go ahead and turn the reverb off, the delay off. Volume, no change. Amp 2 is going to be off. Black wall is going to be no change. Phaser is going to be off. Green OD. And then distortion is going to be off. So let's say for this first scene, we want a little bit of Fenderish clean from our amp and also some reverb. And that's about it. So I'm going to click on scene one. And that's going to bring up a, uh, a typewriter box here. So I'm just going to say clean. Alright, so there's my clean preset. And as you can also see here on the switch we have now it says clean and it's uh, the color green. We can change that to any color we want, by the way. Let's make sure we save. That's very important. So now you notice that we have uh, this one button here. It says clean now. And the only thing about the scenes is the light doesn't turn on to let you know that that scene is on. Um, but it will. Uh, show you which effects are on as long as your an effect is actually assigned to that switch. Okay, so let's go ahead and do another one. And we're going to go to Scene. We can go to Edit. And we're going to say um, Still Amp On for the amp number one. We're going to do Off. Black and the volume or the wall and the volume is no change. The IR is no change. We're going to do distortion overdrive off, phaser off, and now let's say we're going to have reverb and delay, and let's make this a blue color. Okay, so now I'm going to click on the scene two, we're going to edit that. So this is going to be my wet rig, and so now we have clean and we have wet. And now let's go ahead and let's incorporate this amp number two into the mix here. So we're going to do amp two is going to be on, volume and wall, no change, uh, delay off, reverb off, the IR is no change, DC distort is off, overdrive is off. And phaser is off. So the only thing we have on is the amp and the volume in the wall pedal and the custom IR. So let's click on scene. We're going to call this um, crunch. All 
All right, so there we go. So we got three different presets now. We got clean, wet, and crunch. And let's do one more just for fun. We're going to call this my lead tone. I'm going to edit. I'm going to have amp number two on, amp one off. Um, delay on, reverb on, distort off, overdrive on, phaser off, and then black wall and volume is no change. And let's make this a red color. Let's actually go back to my crunch and let's make that orange. So we got some different colors going on here. Click on save. All right, so. Crunch. And here is lead. Very cool. Okay, so you can further modify all these presets. Um, like I didn't use the phaser at all, so I'll probably opt for um, maybe a secondary delay or a secondary reverb because I may not want a lot of reverb on my on my lead tone. And let's just go ahead and change that now. Now that I'm thinking about it, let's turn the reverb off. That'll be good. <laughs> I have a little bit too much delay, but I can change that with the mix. Maybe my feedback. Let's make the delay a quarter note. cool so that's how you set up some scenes on your head rush pedal board and you can switch between different amps different combinations of effects and pretty much build your own rig so go ahead and think about your set list whether you play in a band in your garage or at church and start creating some rigs and scenes so you can better utilize all the different sounds that are at your disposal i am dr mcfarland i hope you enjoy this series of videos Definitely consider subscribing if you haven't already done so. And also check out the description and I'll have a link to the playlist for this whole series. So you can stay up to date every time I release a new video. So I uh, hope you have a great day and keep rocking. See ya.